I was 10 years old at the time, World War I, and the soldiers over in Italy were complaining about being chewed up by body lice, you know, in the trenches. And so a group of little girls and I made cootie belts. It was just a chain stitch with heavy yarn and we would make yards and yards and yards of this. And the soldiers would cut off a piece and they'd wrap it around their waists when they went to bed. And in the morning, it would be full of cooties. They had crawled in where the stitching was, you know. And so they would just throw them in the fire and burn them up. My name is Edith Kirkmeyer. I was born in Dayton, Ohio in January 22nd, 1908, which makes me 107. Edith has been volunteering here for over 40 years, and I've, I've been here, you know, only 14. So she knows far more about the history of direct relief than I or anyone else who works here does. Direct relief has a, an article in the paper uh, asking for if people would like to go to different countries because Direct Relief wanted to spread out and, and they would like to have contacts in different countries. And so my husband and I decided we would like to go to Taiwan. And we went as volunteers. And we spent three years over there. She uh, had a full career, retired as a social worker, and after retirement, 40 years ago, um, went overseas to work as a teacher, a teacher of English in Taiwan, and has continued upon returning here to Santa Barbara, come in every week with her husband who passed away a few years ago, Joe. And they were always just this great, quiet couple who were just really sweet, committed. I think it all goes back to my mother. My mother was a person who liked to help other people. One thing I remember about her that sticks out in my mind is that she had a, a victory garden and she shared her victory garden with anybody and everybody who needed it. One day when I was about 10, I came in the house and with a potato in my hand and I, my mother said, what are you going to do with the potato? And I said, I'm going to take it to, to school. And she said, why? And I said, because we're getting a food basket together for a poor family. And I said, I want to be part of that. So I took my potato and put it in the basket. And that was the beginning, I think. When she turned 107, we don't have a playbook for what you do on a 107-year-old birthday, so you know, we thought it would be fun to have her come back and really allow people to you know, just thank her and celebrate her life. She was made the chief of police of Santa Barbara today, so that was kind of cool. I come on Tuesday mornings, and there's a group who comes at the, on Tuesdays, and we get together. We do whatever is needed to be done. I put stamps on cards. That's the easiest thing to do now because my handwriting isn't as good as it used to be. So I let the others write the cards, the thank you notes, and then I stick a stamp. <laughs> I've learned a lot from Edith. Among them is just how one ought to conduct themselves in this life. And don't ever undervalue the notion of just being nice to your fellow person. I hope I've uh, learned how one should conduct themselves with dignity and respect for other people and good humor and not fully yourself and also to keep going. Don't whine, don't quit. I love this place. I love coming out. I think it's one of the greatest organizations in the world. It reaches out wherever there's a need to help people. A lot of what Direct Leaf does is complicated with prescription medications and emergency zones and all the rules and risks and all that sort of stuff and the financial stuff. It's easy to get occupied with that, but it's important to remember through this wonderful, sweet woman why we do it. And it's important to do it. 
I think all of us who have the privilege of working with her and seeing her, it makes you want to be a better person. It want, wants you to not complain. I think she's had such a huge ripple effect in, in this life that she has no idea what she represents to all of us. At the end of it, all you can say is thank you. And you set a really high bar with that trying. And uh, the best I can hope to do, and everyone else here, is to try to live up to that example, because it's a, it's a high one. Thank you.